Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the Amir Digital Scale. On Amazon they say Amir, but on the box it actually says Superior Mini Digital Platform Scale. Kind of weird that uh, Amir is not anywhere on the box. So I, I bought it for a few reasons. It has backlighting, it has auto off after you don't use it for a while. It's compact, it has a tear function, and it uses regular batteries, two AAAs. Off the bat, I'm just gonna say it right here, I really like this product. I think uh, it is great for what it is, you know, compact, portable, and accurate. I bought it to take it to work because I needed something compact and accurate. So now I'm going to show you some stuff about the product. So as far as the size, it's very compact. You can see compared to my phone, it's uh, maybe double the size of a cell phone. Now, one thing I noticed about this scale is that it has a thing called auto calibration, which means that every time you turn it on, it recalibrates itself and continuously recalibrates itself. Now, that is a minus in a sense because what happens is if you put a teeny amount on the scale, it thinks that you didn't put anything, but, but yet it tries to recalibrate itself and it zeroes out that weight. That's quite the minus. Now, I also believe it's really accurate because I compared it to my two other scales and uh, not only is it very accurate, but it really quickly stabilizes and shows the weight as you add the items in really quick. As far as the scale resolution, it's accurate to 0.1 grams. Now, another minus with this scale is that the manual is not very easy to understand. They, for some reason, decided to include two manuals in one, one for this scale and one for another scale, and it's kind of confusing. How hard would it have been to just create two separate ones for two different scales? Another minus is that the counting function is cute, but it's not usable because what they're doing is making you weigh bundles of items and then counting those. Whereas I would have much preferred if you weigh a unit and then as you add items, it will just know that you added some weight and count how many items are in the basket or whatever. Now, as far as units, this thing has ounces, ounces Troy, DWT, which again is something with Troy. It has CT scale, which again is something to do with Troy. And I believe it has something to do in back in the days when they counted grains. It also has GN, which is something that has to do with a Newton measurement, but uh, I'm not going to even bother. I think 99% of the people will use it in grams or ounces, but just so you know, it has those units. One more thing that I wanted to show you is that it comes with two covers. One that covers the platform, the measuring platforms, and another one that protects the entire thing while it's on the counter. Now, you can't use the scale with the cover on the platform. It, it really is just strictly a cover. They in my opinion, they should have just combined the two. Overall, I think this is an excellent, excellent buy. It's affordable, accurate, functional, and very compact with a range up to 3,000 grams or 3 kilograms. It is a winner in my opinion, even with its flaws. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to link to this product in the description, so please check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please, please thumb up, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Till next time.